In the morning you go. Hey, barbecue boy, how's it going? You're welcome. Okay, go back to here. Listen carefully. If you do exactly as I say, I can get you out of here. What? This is a rescue. I'm helping you escape. Why are you helping me? Because it's the right thing to do. You need a pilot. I need a pilot. Yeah. Hello? Okay. Can you fly a TIE fighter? Yeah, I could fly anything. Rate this game out of 10. We're heading to the hangar. Um, I would say like seven and a half, maybe. It's pretty fun. I mean, you know, it depends. Like, it's definitely worth it to like play through it. It's pretty enjoyable, like the first time around. But if you're like a completionist, you'll kind of be annoyed because it's there's just so much, it's such a long game. If you're trying to complete it 100, percent like I've been at this probably for. I want to say at least, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 hours. It's kind of nuts. They really padded it with a lot of, like, just extraneous stuff. Unnecessary things. Like, the level challenges are really annoying. Discover the underground route into the hangar bay. Okay. Yeah, but like, you know, I think like, if you're just Man, going for the story... Kylo Ren really did a number on me in there. Probably be like 8 out of 10. Unbearable. You should hear him sing at the first order of 8 and a half out of 10, even. Now that's unbearable. Some glitches that I inter- uh, kind of like found, but... Nothing too crazy. BB-8 gets a load of this. How is this? Where you yeah, five. Going? Interesting. He's helping him escape. Shut the hell up. Happens. It's not a bad. Bye. Oh, what the hell you not dead? Okay, I see how it works. Let me take a shot at it. Sorry, I'm more of a shooting or flying kind of guy. Vehicle hanger. Hunter, I'm your man. I was right there. Back for our five. Wait, I think this is the one. All part of the hunt. Oh, the score the underground route. Sneaking mission. All right, wait. So, however, we don't want to go there. Yes, we know the key cards are in the starting hallway. Was on the right path. A dessert! I, I mean a deserter! Ah, is that it? Let's see. Maybe so, but maybe not. Let's see. All right, so let's go this way. Continue upstairs. Defeat them all. Notice what? Large color-coded console on the right side of the room. There are three pl pl pluggable colored parasols around the room. Orange. Oh, it's green. And purple. Yeah, 
you know. Turn off the steam. Hey, play Lego Star Wars Clone Wars? I think it's pretty underrated. Yeah, I actually played all the uh, Star Wars games. Of course, it's all um, part of the that. Lego Star Wars games, I should say. I pretty much played like all the Lego games for the most part, I think, except for some of the newer ones. But, um, I mean, this is definitely better than any of the other LEGO Star Wars games that I've played. But, no, I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty good. Like I said, like, I, I actually really enjoyed it. I just, I think that there's just a lot of filler for, like, completionists, which is something that I like to do, so, you know. Wait, so all I'm missing now is just the mini kits, which there's a lot of them. But I. Damn it. Am I gonna be able to get out of here? Doesn't look like it. So maybe if I can come just go back? do though, let me grab the one that's over here. Log it off as soon as I came up. I don't think so. Oh, they did. Wow. That's Not pretty even if you paid me. I say I gotta play it over again. 100% Lego games is just boring usually, especially when the levels are just repetitive and you literally learn to play the level with your eyes closed. Yeah, it's just that like, you know, the old games kind of did it a little bit better where it was a little bit easier because all you really had to worry about was just like the collectibles and free play. Like the red bricks, the mini kits, you know. Now they give you like side challenges, which is like really annoying because some of them are like really counterintuitive. Or they're like kind of hard to like figure out, or you know, like there's like a couple where you have to like do stuff like complete the level without dying, or like complete like a section of a level without like fighting or like getting caught and like getting into combat at all. Which is those are like really stupid. These challenges right here, it's really annoying. Like, 
unnecessary, but yeah. No, but you're right. I mean, yeah, it is pretty repetitive and boring. I will. We'll agree with that. I wait. I need to. It's just that you know. For me, it's like hard not to do it because I want the achievements and just the <laughs> just the feeling of f finishing 100%. I guess. In the morning, you go. All right, wait. So can you fly a Tie Fighter? Yeah, I could fly anything. Good. We're heading to the hangar. Oh, the challenge is here. In need of a bounty hunter. I'm your Just man. Just need the mini kits. Not even if. I mean a deserter! Yeah. Come on, peeps. Move in! They're trying to get away! Of course, it's all part of the hunt. He's helping him escape. Oh, what the hell? Oh, here's the last one. I love nice. collecting a three out of five. Then let's see. Nope, can't go that way. Okay. Where do you think you're going? Shut up. I'm warning you. I will stick up. Take that prisoner to the detention unit. Now move along. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do, we'll do. You can tell the squadron sent to Jakku have returned. I know. The amount of sand those troopers have Hello. spread around the barracks is absolutely disgraceful. Alright. I think I was balls. a Tatooine when I went in there. Despicable behavior. Not a single one has wiped their boots or emptied their armor before coming aboard. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rather irritating. Think you see one more. Yep. Sweet. Hey. Where is it at? Not even if you There's. Take me to it. Is it really out here? I don't think so. How the hell did I get in there? Bro, he came in and led me the wrong way. That's really annoying. Oh, I needed this thing, the password. Oh. Bro! This thing led me astray. In the morning, you go. Can you fly a TIE fighter? In need of a bounty hunter? I'm your man.
Out of the basic playthrough, unlocking characters might be the funniest thing in these games. Oh, really? Why do you say that? Vehicle hanger? Is it this one? There we go. Because, like, in this game, you really just unlock them through, like, side missions and stuff. <laughs> like side missions and just part of the hunt. doing free play. Oh, you mean funnest, sorry, I, I thought you said funniest. Funnest thing? Yeah. There is that, you know, sense of, like, completion that way, too. There's a lot of characters in this freaking game. I think there's... If you look at all, there's 380. And then if you... You know, there's DLC where you can buy, like, character packs, which I have not done. Because... I think that's unnecessary. It's just a waste of money, in my opinion. But to each his own, you know? Hey! That's mine! Yeah, how's your life? You ever fly this thing? Uh, nope. Huh? Hmm. BB-8, hold on. Uh, anyway. uh, what's the challenges here? I did them all. Okay. Oh, it confused me. I literally just tracking. need the mini kits. Stay low. Got it. I think. Yeah, I just need one. Okay. Not sure where to get that one. Yeah, got him. Great shooting. Hey, keep setting me up, and I'll keep blasting. This ship really moves. Just wait till I get the compressor off the ignition line. Probably like a later section. I'm getting pretty good at this. Hey, what? One out of four. Where did I destroy? There's a map to Luke Skywalker inside BB-8. Yeah, the resistance. I, I mean, we really need that map. Then we best get away from the First Order. Um. Oh, there we go. So that was the one I was Nice. Man, this... This minikit detector is not really working well. 